with Chief Meteorologist Nick Jansen. High temperatures today, we're in the low 40s. We had some rain mixed in with some snowfall and even some grapple uh, through the afternoon hours today. Here's some video shot by our very own Chuck Sibley, our chief photographer here. You can see uh, that chance that uh, we had some of the rainfall. It was very, very spotty throughout the day today. And uh, the good news is we are clearing those skies out uh, through the rest of the evening here tonight. So some showers, uh, even a couple rumbles of thunder. You can see some of those lightning signatures right new, near Prairie du Chien, so pretty close to Almakey County there. Uh, so we'll look at uh, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder staying well to the south of I-90 here tonight. Clear skies back off to the north northwest. So we'll clear those conditions out here tonight. That'll help drop those temperatures down through the overnight hours tonight. Uh, still some strong thunderstorms right along that frontal boundary. We've had some activity stretching from about Burlington, Iowa towards the Quad Cities near Rockford and then eventually Madison had some a couple different tornado warnings associated with that line. So with that uh, cold front, good news, that's well to our southeast. We just have high pressure starting to move in for the next couple of days. Lewis, not a live camera. We have some cloudy sky outside. We'll continue to decrease that cloud cover here tonight. 35 outside, wind out of the north at nine miles per hour. Does make it feel like 28 outside with the wind out of the north. Temperatures here locally, most of us are still looking at those mid 30s. We have 40 right now on La Crosse. It's down to 39, Charles City, Mason City. Temperatures still above seasonal averages, even though it's obviously a big difference compared to the 70s that we had yesterday. What to expect here tonight? Some clearing skies, chilly overnight. Overnight lows getting down to the low 20s this week above average. And I think we have some sunshine, probably looking at Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then late week here. By late Thursday, extending into Friday, we have some rain and maybe even mixed in with some snowfall starting to return. So we're looking at late Thursday night, isolated right now for that chance for a rain snow mix. I think we start out with some rain late Thursday night, early Friday morning. Temperatures will cool by about 8 to 9 o'clock Friday, and maybe that chance for a rain snow mix. I think it's a lot similar to what we just experienced today in terms of how widespread and how much for those accumulations. Rainfall continues to move off to the southeast here tonight. We'll pull in that northerly breeze. It could have some gusts, maybe 15, 20 at times tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures right back into the 40s, mid 40s, some low 50s, probably south of I-90 tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday will be warmer, uh, so we'll have high temperatures. Watch the wind starts to switch here to the south and southeast and highs back into the low 50s with some partly cloudy skies, so temperatures well above average. So as we look all the way towards early next week, we are still looking at temperatures well above average, and you'll see this temperature trend in a second, looking at maybe some 60s and even 70s. Even all the way out to the 17th, we still have about an 80 to 90 percent chance at some above average temperatures through about the first half of March. So notice this temperature trend. We're up Wednesday, Thursday. That weather maker moves in. We're down Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those temperatures are still above average. And then we'll jump from the mid 40s all the way to the mid 60s and probably a couple days in the 60s looking at Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Tonight down to 23. That's still above seasonal averages for our lows. Tomorrow we're at 47 for the high. Mostly sunny, pretty quiet throughout the day tomorrow. Wind calmer too out of the north northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Daylight saving time that begins this weekend. So we will lose that one hour of sleep, but we gain some of that daylight during the evening hours. So you have to set those clocks ahead one hour coming up Saturday night into Sunday. High temperatures this weekend looking at mid 40s. Always a happy time to turn the clocks forward. Forward, right? Mm -hmm. That means we're getting closer and closer to spring and summer. I like it. It's more light. Always yes. a good thing. I just like the walk to our cars after the 6 o'clock news. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's yeah. great. Sun. Right. Not you in see the dark, the sun. not like feeling your way <laughs> to the vehicle. Precisely. All right. All right, what's happening in sports, Nick?